everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Um, I've got something kind of a little bit different for you. Um, it is from a couple different thrift store hauls and an eBay find. Um, and again, a little bit different, so I hope you're going to like it. Um, you can let me know in the comments below if you do or you don't. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, uh, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I really hope you enjoy the content. And I'm showing you my beautiful Fiskars cutter thing just because it looks like you've got something to look at besides just my hands and my tablecloth. So um, first of all, um, I found a, um, a diamond painting last week in Goodwill. And um, I'll run a little video up through here showing how we you know when I how I found it. Um, so let me show it to you. And it was really kind of a total, you know, it was kind of a, just a what do I want to call it um, a gamble. Um, I gambled on it because I really couldn't open it up to see it. Um, and this is a this is an old one. I will tell you that it's an old one. Um, it did, it did come with, you know, the standard boat and all that. Um, and it is pretty pixelated. It's actually very pixelated. Um, to be honest, I'm really kind of disappointed in it. Um, but you know, it was the thrill of the hunt. That's all that I can say. It was the thrill of the hunt. I'm going to show you the thumbnail because I can't show you obviously the website and it looks like it's a dragonfly with a lotus flower is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to straighten it out just real quick. It appears to be a 30 by 40. Um, again, it's a little bit different. The drill field is super muddied. To be honest, I doubt that I am going to do it. This truly, really was more of the thrill of the hunt of finding one. You know, I might put some drills on it just to show you guys what it would look like. Um, but to me, it looks like a really blobby mess, and I'm kind of disappointed in it. But I will tell you, the other stuff is pretty awesome. Okay, so this was kind of the bust. Um, I think I will keep the drills. I'm going to show you a couple of them really quick. I want to show you that they're actually decent quality drills from what I can see, even the dark colors. I'm only going to show you just a, a, a couple of them. You get a couple pretty colors, but I'm going to keep the drills. I'll use those as maybe as some spares or something. So um, that was kind of my bust, but I tell you what, it was fun. It was fun fun seeing it on the shelf. Um, now, the next thing I want to show you um, is not diamond painting related. Um, I found this gorgeous Kate Spade backpack. It doesn't even look like it's been used. Um, it has a magnetic um, opening on it. It's really big on the inside. Um, it's got a zipper here. Um, again, it's a backpack like this. Um, I've been wanting a backpack for a long time, a backpack purse, um, but I, I didn't want to spend the money on it. And if I remember right, I bought this a couple weeks ago. If I remember right, I think it was like $8. Um, I don't know why they had it so cheap because sometimes they have, I mean, I've seen... I've seen knockoffs. I've seen copies of designer bags that were like twenty and thirty dollars, which was crazy. So I just, I just love this bag. It is just, it is absolutely perfect. It's perfect to go thrifting in because it's a backpack, which is fabulous. Um, then, so that is that one. Now the next one is too big for me to put on my table. Um, you guys know I love landscapes, right? Love landscapes. I love Nikki Bomi. She's probably one of my 
favorite um, artists. And I found, and I didn't even realize this, I found, I'm gonna show you, I've got a picture that I'm gonna leave right up here of this landscape I got over at Goodwill. Again, it was probably, I don't know, maybe about a month or so ago, maybe longer. Um, and I bought it because I love the landscape and it goes perfect in my bedroom. But anyway, on one night, you know, I was talking with a good friend and I was, and I sent her a picture of, of the landscape. And, um, you know, she said, well, who's the artist? You know, and I looked at the signature. Now, it, it's not a painting, it's a print. Um, and it's Nikki Bomi. And it is beautiful. It's professionally framed. It was $12. So, um, I love, I love this painting so much, or this print. I am so happy with it. So my point is, when you go to thrift stores, you never know what you're gonna find. It's the thrill of the hunt. You will find something that you're really, really gonna like eventually. You know, with the exception of the that um, diamond painting, which was kind of a dud, right? Okay, now the next one, you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy, which I already know I'm crazy. And um, this was my total squirrel thought. It was an impulse buy, but now I have to do it. So after looking at Nikki Bomi paintings and stuff, um, I found, let me show you this. I found this on eBay. It's the Nikki Bomi Cottage Grove. Let me bring this up so you can see it. It is gorgeous, but it's in needlepoint. Now, I did needlepoint when I was probably a teenager a bazillion years ago. So my thought is, if I can do cross stitch, I think I can do needlepoint. But isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. I love, love, love it. So I'm going to show this to you just really quick. I, like I said, I haven't done, and oh, pardon me. This is an old kit too. I think it's probably been discontinued. Um, so what I'm probably going to have to do is do some tutorials on, on YouTube. And what I want to show you, first of all, it's just like in cross stitch. They have directions on how to do it. And these are in multiple languages. Um, I also have, um, a couple needles. Um, we also have the chart. But that almost, I'm not quite certain what that chart is, is of. That looks almost like a paint by numbers. Is that what that is? Hang on a second. Let me see what this one is. Nope, it truly is. Okay, so this is kind of like the cross stitch. It has the legend of the, of the types of stitches. There's a continental or a basket weave stitch, a back stitch, um, cording, French knots, and combined colors. So I know the continental stitch, that's kind of like the main stitch of, um, of um, needlepoint. So I'm gonna have to learn it. So bear with me on this. The canvas, this is not Ada. It truly is like a canvas. So I thought this was really kind of cool. Isn't it kind of cool? I guess I need to put it down this way so you can see it better. So it has the all the different colors, just like, you know, the legend. And then it has, oh my gosh, wait till you see all the colors. It has all the different colors in it. And it appears, no, these are not DMC colors. Nope, these are not DMC colors. So I'm not certain exactly how the colors go. Um, I, I honestly don't know um, how this is all gonna work. But I'm going to figure it out because I love Nicky Bomi's stuff. But aren't the colors pretty? 
So this is kind of my um, unusual um, video, my unusual unboxing, my unusual finds. Like I said, this, this came off of eBay um, and I got it for a pretty good price. Um, the seller did a pretty good offer on it. Um, and it's dimensions too, which is good. So I thought it was kind of cool. So I had, you know, I had this with all the instructions. I'll just go over this really quick. And then again, all the beautiful threads. And then, you know, I had, I'm going to put the painting up here again. Had the beautiful Nikki Bomi painting. Isn't it just gorgeous? I'm so, so pleased with that. So keep an eye out. You never know. Plus, keep an eye out for frames for your diamond paintings because you never know what you're going to find. And then I found this beautiful Kate Spade backpack that I am just so, so, I am so in love with this. That was like a best buy ever. And then, unfortunately, you know, my diamond painting was kind of a bust. What can I say? It was a bust. In retrospect, you know, I probably, oops, it goes like this. You know, I probably shouldn't buy it, have bought it, but, you know, that's just kind of how it was. Um, I am going to keep the drills. I'm probably going to pitch the canvas. Um, so, so that is that, guys. That's all that I have for you today. Um, I hope you really, really enjoyed this. I'm going to give you something again to look at. Hold that up so you have something to look at. Yeah, I hope you like this. Um, take care. Hope you have a great day wherever you're at. It is cold and icky here. We got lots of rain. Um, please remember that you are uh, perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. Um, and I'm going to be back with uh, more content. I'm going to have a Timu haul coming probably in the next few days. I've got a, a Timu order that's coming. Um, and I've got more whipping chats. Um, uh, yeah, I've got my um, gorgeous and green whipping chat that I'm going to be working on. If you haven't been to my Facebook, please go to my Facebook, Diamonds by Tita. I want to invite you to join. Um, trying to figure out what we're going to do for April. Um, can you believe that? Already April. We're looking at April. And uh, that's all that I have for you guys. Take care. Hope you enjoy your day or evening, whatever time zone you're in. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.